Hey everybody, Jay Super Awesome here. I'd like to welcome you all to week number 16 of the Horror Man Slashback Saturday Challenge. This week's slasher movie theme is Skinful Slashers, and I will be giving my review for Hatchet Man. Okay, so getting into the plot for this one. Someone's got an axe to grind. College co-ed by day and stripper by night, Claudia's dream of becoming a lawyer seems in reach until her co-workers start turning up dead. Victims of a brutal serial killer, can Claudia and her friends stay alive long enough to expose the killer, or will they become the hatchet man's next victim? Okay, so getting into my thoughts for this one. With this week's Slashback Challenge theme of Skinful Slashers, we were challenged to simply watch and review a slasher film that featured a lot of skin. So basically, nudity. Now, nudity is not something I normally mention or talk about in my reviews. I'm not really for sure why, but it is pretty important to this movie's storyline, considering one of the main locations of the movie takes place inside a strip club. So we have several scenes throughout this movie's 97-minute runtime that take place inside a strip club. So this movie does have a lot of nudity. In fact, it has nudity within the first minute of its runtime, if that gives you any idea. Within this movie, we have three main set locations, and I had already mentioned the strip club. The strippers that work at this strip club live at a nearby motel, and the third and final location is an isolated house at the end of the movie. Overall, I thought Hatchet Man was a pretty average slasher film, and I don't really feel like it's going to be for everybody. It does make an attempt to create some misdirection on who the killer is, but it doesn't really necessarily come off being that suspenseful. In fact, the slasher movie elements does feel really bland. It does seem like the overall movie tried to rely on the female nudity, the eye candy, to hold your attention. So that is why I consider Hatchet Man to be just an average slasher film that's going to be more remembered for having a lot of nudity instead of it actually being a good slasher film. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the cast of characters we have in Hatchet Man. So the main character in this movie's storyline is Claudia. She is a stripper. She goes to school during the day. She has ambitions on becoming a lawyer, so she's desperately trying to get into law school. A lot of the side characters we have in this movie are Claudia's friends who are strippers, and they are basically here to add to the killer's body count. We also have Claudia's boyfriend, who is the police detective who is trying to stop the killer. We also have a man who has just been released from police custody, and he is one of Claudia's stripper friend's ex-boyfriend. We also have the motel manager, and as if seeing these girls in the nude at the club wasn't enough for him, he also has decided to put a hidden camera in one of the girls' motel rooms, so he's a creeper. We also have the motel manager's best friend who accompanies him to the strip club several times throughout the film, and he has taken a liking to one of Claudia's stripper friends. And finally, rounding out the cast of characters we have in Hatchet Man, we have another creeper who likes to work on his vehicle in the motel parking lot. And while the girls are away, he likes to break into their rooms and wear their underwear. Overall, I thought the characters were decent in this movie, and the acting was passable for a slasher film. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the most important part of a slasher movie, that is the killer and the kills. And I just thought the killer in this movie was okay. He's definitely not going to go down as one of my favorites. We basically have a killer who is wearing dark clothes with a hood and a skull mask that almost resembles a dead eye. So I thought the look was pretty cheap looking, but it's decent. The thing I didn't like the most about the killer is most of the time he's moving really fast. So when he goes to swing his hatchet at a victim... He misses wildly, oftentimes busting out windows or just whiffing altogether. And speaking of the hatchet, and considering this movie's villain is known as the Hatchet Man, his one and only weapon of choice is his trusty hatchet. And seeing how he's always moving so quickly and swinging so wildly 
we really don't get a good look at the hatchet until close to the end of the movie, and it does look pretty cool. And I do have to say that I really do like the ending reveal of why the killer is targeting nude female strippers. It actually does tie the movie all together pretty nicely. And as far as the kills go, the movie does have a pretty decent body count, but unfortunately, almost all of the kills are quick cut kills. So basically, the killer will swing the hatchet in motion, and we just see the blood splatter. So that's pretty unfortunate. We do get to see the bloody aftermath, and this killer does have a thing for chopping off his victim's hands. So that's pretty cool. Overall, Hatchet Man is really a hard one for me to recommend. I am going to recommend it for slasher movie fans. If you are a fan of low-budget slasher movies, if you are a person who feels like you need to see every slasher movie you can get your hands on, then you will probably find some enjoyment with this one. I'm going to give it a 5.5 out of 10. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if you have seen Hatchet Man, or just let me know what you think about my review. And I would like to thank you all for watching.